It's never too early to mark your calendars for this year's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk in Tucson in October. And today we're celebrating a big win. Not on your side, Stella Inger joins us live downtown from an event where members in our community are being thanked for their hard work. Hi, Guy. Yeah, we are at an appreciation party, as you just said, appreciating all of those people in our community who have helped raise a lot of money for the American Cancer Society. We are at Z Mansion in downtown. Take a look at it. We are inside right now, and this is a place where events like today are being held and weddings. It's a Victorian home built in 1898, located in the heart of historic Old Town Tucson. Z Mansion, short for Zellweger Mansion, still a private residence. The owners of the home, the Thomas Langdon Hill family make it available for select events. In October, 8,500 people walked in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk Aquino Sports Complex. That's not counting all those who actually donated money to the cause. And this year in October, it will be the 15th year the walk will take place in Tucson. I want you to take a look at some numbers. In October, Making Strides in Tucson raised more than $232,000. Since the first Making Strides Walk in Tucson in 2003, you Tucson have helped raise more than $2.6 million. And back in August, Kega 9 and our radio partners at 94.9 Mix FM presented Making Strides of Tucson, a $10,000 check courtesy of our company, EW Scripts. So we're doing our part to find a cure for breast cancer. A lot of people in our community have been touched by breast cancer, so we do want to thank everyone for helping raise as much money as we have raised in the last 14 years. Now back out live here, coming up in in just a few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to a woman who will share her story, her story of survival, and also an announcement that just has been made uh, by the American Cancer Society about, about the, the walk this year in October. There's a new venue. We'll tell you all about it, Guy.